Hello, today I'm going to show you how to use keyframes in Blender. Now keyframes is how you do animation in Blender and it's very complicated at first but it's not too complicated when you realize how it works. So the first thing that I'm going to do is just add a cube and the first thing that you want to do on an animation is start with your starting pose and hit I. And then you have a whole bunch of different options. Location will um, make the frame be where the location of the object was. Rotation will save the rotation of it. And scale will save the uh, how big it was, you know, the scale. Normally, you just use location and rotation, but if you want all three, you use location, rotation, and scale. And there's also one for if you have custom properties. I'm just going to use location, rotation, and scale. And then down here in the bottom is your keyframe editor. Now, if you see, if I hit play right now, nothing happens. But let's say I want it to be where it is right now at frame 1. And then at frame 20, I want it to be up in the air about here. And I want it to uh, do some cool rotations, things like that. And maybe even get a little bit bigger. I would hit the keyframe right here while I'm on this frame, location, rotation, and scale. And now it will play that little animation. And you see, like let's say at frame 50, I want it to go down here and do all this. I would keep doing this. Let's say I go to frame 90, do it again, but I want it to go over here, do some more cool twisting and things like that. And I do it again. Let's say at frame 150, I want it to go over here and shrink. I could do that. But anyway, you see when I played this all together, Wait, it lagged that time. Let me replay this. You see, it would play our little animation. So that is how keyframes work, basically. And there's actually a lot more that you can do with keyframes. I don't want to get too advanced in it right now. But if you go to animation, this is where you would edit your keyframes. And you can actually go and like make them have... You can make them ease in and out, like one of the principles of animation, you know, that was like Walt Disney, I think he was one of the people that worked on that. Or it was the people that worked for him, his nine old men that worked on the 12 principles of animation. Easing in and out is one of them, though. That's relevant because you can make the animation with keyframes ease in and out. So you see there's one that says automatic easing, one that says easing, one that says ease out. One says ease in and out. And now it kind of gets faster in the middle and then slows down when um, you get to like the edge of a keyframe. You can make it do all kinds of cool things like that. Like let's say I want it to have automatic easing. You can't really see too much of a difference, but it's really subtle, but it makes all the difference. And there's a whole bunch of different options that you can do with things. You can have this be handled with like freestyle or aligned where it'll be like a curved um, animation graph. A vector would just be where it doesn't really have much of a resolution but it's gonna be real tight I guess you could say it's gonna be more flat. And there's automatic and auto clamp. Here I'll just show one of those options. This was the automatic one. But anyway that's the basics of keyframing in Blender. So thank you for watching and goodbye.